Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today we're gonna be doing a review of the Rebox TX8 Bluetooth headphones. Now, these on Amazon, they retail, as you can see right there, for $28.89. You can get them in different colors. Now, I picked up the white and gold. Now, there is a coupon code or a coupon that you can use to save uh, $2. Now that being said, these headphones have, uh, they have 40 millimeter drivers and I just wanna show you right quick what they look like when somebody is wearing them. You can see there. And then um, you can use a micro SD card. There is a mode button where you can switch from Bluetooth to, uh, to uh, micro SD card. And uh, so, they, like I said, they do have a Bluetooth 5.0. So I was looking for something that was less than $30 that I can review for you guys. Uh, and for people that don't want to spend a lot of money, but want pretty good sound. So I saw these, I thought they looked nice, but are they worth the price? Let's find out. Okay, moving on to the accessories. Now the first accessory I'm gonna show you here is this pretty nice cable. It's a type C cable. So the headphones do charge with type C and uh, it's maybe uh, maybe about a foot, a little bit over a foot long, which is nice. And it doesn't really feel cheap. It's decent. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then we get an auxiliary cable with a, a mic. So it has a button my, and a mic. So that's pretty nice. And then they do have gold plated plugs, which is a plus. And then they it does have a braided uh, cable. So that's nice. So that's all we get, which is nice for $30. I think uh, that's pretty good. We didn't get like a bag or anything like that, but for the price, you know, not bad. So I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Okay, moving on to the hardware. Now we're gonna first um, start on the side. So we have an LED light there that it turns on once you turn on the power. And I'm gonna show you there. So it turns on, so it's on, um, right now it's on pairing mode. Uh, but once they pair on, the light will turn just uh, bluish white. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then this part there is like aluminum but the whole um, headphones are pretty much plastic with a little bit of aluminum for the band, as you can see there. And then it does have the Rebox logo there. And then on top, it also says Rebox there, which is a nice touch. I do like when they put their logos on top, it looks nice. Now, again, the, the headphones do have aluminum band, which is nice. There's very minimal padding and it kind of feels like what they used to put on the Beats headphones, that kind of padding, which is like a gel material. So it's not a lot of uh, padding. Inside, uh, we have the R and the left, which is a nice touch as well. I do like the ear cups. I feel like they're pretty nice. Uh, they don't feel like memory, memory foam. They feel like a different kind of foam. Um, then we do have our controls there. We have your power button. You have your volume rockers and uh, your mode button. Also, you have your micro SD card slot. And then this is to charge, which is your type C port and an auxiliary port there. Then you also have a mic. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do like the hardware. They also fold. So for the hardware, I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Okay, moving on to the stretch test. Now this is a test that I usually do for people that have big heads or if you just wanna buy these headphones and you wanna see how much they stretch out. This test is for you. So let's go ahead and do the stretch test. One, 
two and three and as you can hear no crazy sounds um, I was actually very happy with the build quality and since it's, it, it does have aluminum bands I kind of already knew it was gonna pass so Rebox you pass the stretch test okay moving on to sound quality now some of the albums I used to test these headphones out I did play some Lindsay Sterling I also played the Frozen 2 soundtrack. I played some Mac Miller and some Jesse Reyes. Now I did play other tracks, but those are the albums that I listened while testing these headphones. Now we're gonna talk about the bass. Now the bass is, uh, it's above average um, to a point once you raise the volume to like over 80%, um, it sometimes wants to dis distort the mids. Uh, it overpowers the mids at times. So um, I wasn't very happy with that. Um, so that was the letdown here. But the bass, if you're listening to 80 or less percent of volume, it's it's definitely above average and sometimes it sounds good and sometimes will give you a nice kick here and there depending on the track but uh at high volumes it does want to overpower the mids uh so just keep that in mind but songs that don't have a lot of bass they sounded pretty good i was actually pretty happy and again if you're listening to the volume at 80 percent or less i think the bass was definitely fine um, separation between the mid and the bass was was decent um, it wasn't you know the best or you know superb or really good it was decent um, you know it tried its best but it wasn't the greatest so yeah the bass is all right if you're a big bass head keep that in mind because I know that a lot of people want to hear the their music at very loud volume um so keep that in mind that at times these do want to overpower the mids so let's move on okay moving on to the mids and highs now the mids and highs sound pretty nice especially the highs in my opinion if you're listening to stuff that has a lot of instruments and stuff like that the highs sound pretty clear and I was actually pretty happy and I enjoyed listening to these headphones. Now the mids on the other hand still sound pretty good. Uh, vocals came in pretty clear but not as clear as I would like but for the price um, I was still happy so I just want to let you guys know that. Um, vocals for male and female came in pretty clear but the sound stage kind of was if you're inside a smaller to maybe mid-sized room, if that makes sense to you. Now the, the sound signature to me was a little bit warm, but also gave me some uh, U-shaped uh, vibes. And uh, what I mean by that is that the mids and, I mean the, the bass and the highs were pretty nice and the, mid still sounded pretty good but not as clear as i would like um that being said the price is not a lot of money what we get here is pretty nice uh sound quality on headphones so for the sound quality i think it's an all-around headphone that you can just take and everything i threw at it sounded pretty good as long as you don't if you're gonna listen to stuff with bass you don't want to go over 80% because the the bass will try and uh, overpower the mids. So let's move on. Okay, moving on to the track recommendations. This is where I usually recommend a track. And since I was listening to uh, Jesse Reyes uh, before Love Came to Kill Us, I want to recommend the track called Figures. So check that track out, and that is by Jesse Reyes. Moving on. 
Okay, so what are my final thoughts? So in the beginning of the video, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? Now, in my opinion, they are. Now, let me explain why. Um, for the Bluetooth range, I got around 40 to 45 feet. So that was pretty good, nice. Um, mic quality was pretty good. Uh, they were not the best I've ever uh, used, but people actually thought, some people actually thought that I was using my phone and that I sounded clear enough to them. So that was pretty nice. They do have Bluetooth 5.0 Type-C. They have a micro SD card slot, so you can just listen music from there, which is pretty nice. They look nice. I think they look cool. Build quality was also nice in my opinion. And guys, these are only $30. So I think uh, they're pretty much worth the money. Uh, sound quality, pretty much everything I threw at it sounded pretty nice, except if you listen to stuff with a lot of bass at over 80% uh, of volume, then the bass does try to distort and overpower the mid. So just keep that in mind. I don't wanna uh, you guys to leave a comment saying, oh, they they're shit and uh, they don't sound that good because the bass overpowers the mids. That's what I'm saying right now. That being said, I'm still gonna recommend them. Um, they do have very nice aluminum bands, which I always say is must have in my opinion. They give us nice cables, uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, and this is the second uh, Rebox uh headphones that i review on my channel and they are both have been pretty nice i'm gonna leave links below to the other rebox uh headphones that i review which were also pretty nice and they are kind of around the same price as these so if you guys want to go see that review uh, but these were nice they do come come in different colors and uh, i'm happy to own these um and i enjoyed listening to these as well so that was pretty good um, again, recommended to me if you're looking, recommended by me if you're looking for something on the cheap that sounds pretty good. Now, if you have a hundred dollars to spend, of course, you're gonna go buy something else. But if you're looking for something less than forty dollars and just to have in your backpack or something, these are pretty nice. Check them out. So, that was my review check out all my videos subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time